Mount Edgecombe, Sitka, Alaska's dormant volcano, was outside our window as we rolled over at 5 a.m. The sun showed up for breakfast, but left again as the ship's tenders were lowered, taking tourists to land. Our adventure began on the St. Michael, a boat that picked us up at the ship and took us back out to sea for a little wildlife adventure. We kept our eyes peeled for humpback whales while learning more about this area from our tour guide. Baranoff Island is the island that the community of Sitka is located on. The island is just over 100 miles long, about 50 miles wide at its widest point. And Sitka really is the only community of any size uh, on the island, right about 8,900 permanent residents. It wasn't long before we saw a mother and calf feeding. They repeatedly dove down, mouths open, to scoop up schools of fish, straining them through their baleen like a colander. For the tail right there. Patterns on a whale's tail fluke help identify him or her, much like our fingerprints. Leaving mother and calf behind, we were off to find some sea otters. Sea otters are the heaviest members of the weasel family, among the smallest of marine mammals, and they have the densest fur of the entire animal kingdom. They roll in the water to accumulate air bubbles in their fur, which they use as insulation. Sadly, sea otters are still on the endangered species list after being hunted extensively for their fur between 1741 and 1911. Searching through the mist to various island shorelines, we spotted a flock of cormorants and a family of stellar sea lions. Although this is a colorful bunch, all adult sea lions are the same yellowish-brown color, but look darker when wet, and the pups are almost black. It looks like one of these guys in particular has been sitting around long enough to dry out. Moving on, we saw remnants of the logging industry that looked a lot like old white bones, as well as island edges teeming with sea life. Blue-green algaes colored the waters, and rocks were speckled with sea stars in gorgeous shades of orange and purple. They say in Alaska that bald eagles are as prevalent as seagulls, and sure enough we saw them everywhere, adults and juveniles alike. When a group of eagles converge, it's called a congress. And having only ever seen one pair at most, I've never needed to know that term until we were in Sitka. Next up, we were off to see some interesting volcanic rock formations, ones that supported the massive trees of the Tongass Rainforest. Heading back, we saw a few more eagles, passed a few more dramatically shadowed mountains, and entered the bay with another stunning view of Mount Edgecombe alongside Sitka's O'Connell Bridge. Here we disembarked and readied ourselves 
for the next adventure.